I've got another interesting integral here today for you. We have the integral of 3 secant x times sine x over 1 plus 3 cosine x dx. And we notice now secant is just 1 over cosine. If we multiply secant times sine, we've got tangent. But that's not really helping me. I'd, you know, what I would like is if I, I'd like to make like a u substitution, say, right? So like, let's say I do my u as the denominator. Well, if, that, if, my, if this is my u, I want du in the numerator. But the derivative of this denominator is going to be minus 3 sine x. We get the 3 and we have the sine x, but we get the secant in the way. What I came to is the best approach I could find on this was to divide through everything by cosine x. Or instead of dividing by cosine x, we can multiply by secant x in the numerator and denominator. And let's see what happens when we do that. So we'll have our 3 secant x. And what I'll do, I want to multiply this times the sine because secant times sine is going to be tan of x. And then in our denominator, we're going to have, okay, secant x times 1 is just secant x. And then plus 3, secant x times cosine x is just 1, so we're just going to leave a 3 there. And by doing that, this is starting to look a lot better. So now what I'll do is make a u substitution here, and we'll call our u secant x plus 3. So then what's our du going to be? du is just going to be... Um, secant x tan x dx. Okay, so I'll make the substitution. I'm going to bring this 3 out front. We don't really need that right now. So we'll have a 3 in front. We have this here is our du. Okay, so we have du over u. And we know how to do this. So this is just going to be 3 natural log absolute value of u. And what we can do is back substitute. So for our final solution, we're going to have 3 natural log absolute value secant x plus 3 plus c and we're done that's it thank you for watching please like and subscribe have a good day